Hi everybody, welcome back to the Caravan Addies. Today we've invited our family up, the Brown family, Yay. with the lovely kids. And today, Deb, what we're going to do, we're showing you a cheaper alternative to the Kadak. So we're going to try to make some pizzas on this and see how they turn out. This is when you first started and it's all money, 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 isn't it? Yeah. Buying everything for your caravan and then you buy your awning. A Kadak is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, but this wasn't cheap, cheap, was it? it no, was... it wasn't, but it was cheaper than a Kadak. And so we've got to see if it does. The exact same job as a Kadak. So we'll come back in two minutes when they've set it up. There you go, all set up. Just like a Kadak. Uh, where do you get this one, Chris? Uh, Leisure outlet. Leisure outlet. Right, okay, it's got the proper gauge on the top and all that. Uh, so we'll we'll give it a go. It is turned on. We've let it eat up a little bit. We're going to put this on there. Uh, then my wife is going to make some pizzas. Hey, it's Chris, and we'll yep. see see what happens. Eh? Yep. Right, put lid off. Right, I've already made a pizza. I don't need to show everybody how to make pizzas. I've just used some bread mix. I've got some sweet chilli chicken from Asda, normal chicken, hot and spicy chicken, pepperoni. The kids have opted for a chicken and pepperoni pizza. Now they've not got a pizza plate with this Kadak. It's not a Kadak. We didn't did get one with those, did we? No. So I'm hoping that this, just this normal pizza plate, what I got from Asda, is going to work. I'm going to raise it off, off the heat, and hopefully, can you just take it off? So it's already nice and hot, I can feel it in there. So we'll leave that there, put the lid back on. We'll check it in 10 minutes and what, hopefully. What's Deb? How much did you pay for your cut up? Uh, 275. 75 pound, yeah. This only cost me 159.99. There you go. And if it does exactly the same as a Kadak, why waste money when you can get one of these? Let's see how it turns out first before we start raving about it. See you in a minute. Right, it's been on five minutes or just over. If you look over here, the temperature is about 180, between 180 to 200. Let's just have a look how it's doing. Oh, yep, yeah, it's cooking. Hopefully it doesn't, I put flour all over this so it doesn't stick. So fingers crossed it doesn't. We'll come back in five minutes. See if it's done. No. Right, it's been, how long has it been on? 10 12, 10, 10 12 minutes. Wow. Let me just place this down here. That looks that looks cool. Let's, hey. let's see if it's stuck. I could get one of these in my truck. Have you got a truck, Tony? I have got a truck. A bit big for a truck roll. Bloody hot, that. Right. Oh, show them that safety feature. Yeah, well, when we're Oh, look at that. Not even stuck, has it? No. We're going to cut the, cut the next one on this. Try it. We're going to try it on this. Instead of this. Let's put that on. And then the pizza. But the other good thing about this is, they've got these safety catches. So once you put your lid on, you can lock it all on. So, if so any kids, are, any going kids are knocking about, it's safe, isn't it? So, so you don't really need a pizza stone with this. Just one of these from Asda. I think it was 9.99. What are you using your house? <coughs> That'll do. Right? No, we don't, you're not putting that on like that. No, we're getting Back next. in five minutes and let's see if the other pizza I'm going to work works on one of these instead of having the hot plate on. Let me check underneath. Nice and crispy that. Now we're going to try it this time just with this instead of having it risen off the hot plate and let's just see it's very hot we've already got the temperature up to 200 right get it back on quick right on. there you go let's try it we'll come back in 10 minutes see if this has worked so chris this is your first time using the campees how did it go absolutely belted um deb and tony showed me if i set it up if i use everything um to be honest i, I won't buy a Kadak. For the simple reason I've just saved under and pound. Um, and it does everything what a Kadak does. Uh, now I'm going to eat my pizza. Right, so this time we've cooked it, not on the hot plate, risen, we've cooked it on this 
something. See if it stops first. Oh no, that stop. Let's see if it's crisper. Yeah, very crisper. Gorgeous. So what do you think of that? Well, I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's like, could you start off but spending all your money on your new caravan like Chris, Rebecca and the children have. Uh, then you go and buy an expensive awning and you're thinking, I'll have to save up a little bit more in order to buy a caravan. This is ideal. How much was it, Chris? £159. £159 and it does exactly the same job. Not saying don't buy a Kadak, because everybody loves a Kadak, but this is for the searchers. We're going to come back to you after we've eaten our pizzas, but there's a bit of a treat after this video, David. What is it? Oh, it's our son who lives in Canada. He's out at this precise moment in time, isn't it? In his caravan, so they you're going to be able to have a look at a Canadian caravan. Yeah, they call them trailers. So, so it's the other Addis. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care. Good morning. Welcome to the Caravan Addies Canadian style. We'll show you the Canadian style of caravanning. This is the trailer, as they call it over here, not the caravan. Hi, Sarah. So, caravanning, Canadian style, it's 9 o'clock, just woke up, a bit rough. First, first thing you do in Canada, I got to get a morning, crack the beer open. Cheers. So is... Just getting breakfast on. Oh, she's making coffee for the weaklings. Barbecue's going. This is the spot we are. Out in the bushes. I have friends over there and their kids. Should we go and show them breakfast? <laughs> but you gotta be careful here not to leave food out. No. And I'll show you why. Wild animals everywhere. Oh, yeah. Hi Tyra. Hi. We're going to the beach. Where are the dogs going? They're in the bushes, so you gotta plug the generator in for a couple of hours every day. Keep the battery charged. It's a hill, or is it level? Oh, it's it level. Hi. Jesus Christ! Some homemade rope to get down. Beautiful. What are they doing? We're not finding our dinner. Found it. Something's been eaten here. We're gonna have the remains for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just camping just up there. Oh, oh there it is. We're going to go back, get some breakfast on. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Remember, subscribe, like. See you next time. Welcome back. 
Okay, this is a tour of our campsite. We've got a fire. That's uh, no fire there, sir. Well, it's not lit yet. Stones and some ashes. No. And then we've got a barbecue. And the beach is just down there. There's our boats. We've got our hammocks set up. This is the most important bit of the whole trailer. This is the outside of the trailer slash caravan. Tom's a bit rough, so he's giving me this tour job. Say hello. <laughs> okay, so here's the bedroom. And then you've got a radio. And you've got this couch here and you just, hold on, let me go back. And you just pull it like this and it goes into a bed and then you push it back and it goes back to a couch and then you've got your dining room table we've had to take smoke alarm out because I set it off this morning and this goes into a bed and then you've got your kitchen area Microwave, fridge, freezer, oven, your sink, and you've got bump beds for the kids. And you've got a wardrobe and mirror, and then you've got your bathroom, and your shower, and bath, which is full of our coats. And that's pretty much it. So that is a Canadian trailer, or caravan, as you say in England. There's Tara. What are you doing? Oh, she's getting after bite. The mosquitoes are really bad. Where is it? Right there. So yeah, that's our setup. We'll go to the beach later. We're in the middle of nowhere, and we just picked a road and went up a track and find this. Well, we'll talk to you later. Bye.